Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today I've got a little tutorial for you showing you how to set up Mega on, uh, well, we're using Linux Mint 17 here, the XFCE version, but basically what I'm going to show you is, uh, is applicable to just about any Linux distribution, uh, and as well Mega is available for Windows and for, uh, for Mac as well, but I think I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Some of you may not be familiar with Mega. Here is their website. What Mega is, it is cloud storage similar to Dropbox, uh, Google Drive, that sort of thing. However, one of their top priorities is security. Um, your When you're uploading files to Mega, it is encrypted at your desktop, not uh, at their site. So uh, they really don't have any idea of, uh, you know, how to uh, access whatever it is that you've uploaded. Uh, they also do not have your security password uh, for, for accessing your account. Now, um, it's one of those things. There's pluses and minuses to that. On the plus side, that makes it more secure. Um you know, nobody can, uh, no hacker can come in and steal the uh, the password to your account, uh, at least not from the mega site. However, if you lose your uh, password, you are totally screwed. Uh, there is, uh, you know, they don't know what your password is, so there is no, you know, uh, click here to to. Uh, 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 you know, to uh, restore your password, none of that. So uh, you better write it down in a secure spot. Uh, but anyway, the, the security was what drew me to this because we've all read about the security issues Dropbox has had in the past couple of years. And in fact, the security has been so bad that some of the search engines are actually indexing files that individuals have stored on Dropbox. Um, and you know myself, I don't keep anything there that uh, that really needs to be secure. Um, but at the same time, I don't particularly want uh, search engines indexing um, all of my files that I keep in Dropbox. And uh, while the security seems a bit better with Google Drive, uh, I have noticed that uh, Google likes to take a look at what is inside of my Google Drive so that they can send advertising my way. Now, you know, some people, uh, you know, I, I put a video up about about kind of realizing this uh, yesterday, and some people were making the comment, ooh, you know, Google the evil empire. It's like, no, it's not the evil empire. It's, you know, you're getting something for free from them. Um, and uh, you know this is you, you know in a sense your payment. You uh, you lose your your privacy, and they're going to take a look at what you've got stored in there, and use that to try to throw ads in your direction that you might click on. Google makes money and and whatnot. I mean you know it's a company. They're they're not a charity. Um, so I mean I don't really hold it against them. Um, but at the same time, if I'm looking at this from a privacy point of view, I don't particularly want them nosing through my files. Anyway, getting back to Mega, like I said, security is, at, at least from everything I've been reading and what I've been seeing so far, security is their top priority. When you sign up for them, you know, a lot of clients, when you sign up for their cloud storage, you get five gigs, you get two gigs, um, you know, 10. Mega gives you 50. Uh, and then you can buy more storage beyond that. Uh, they have mobile apps for looks like just about every uh, platform uh, for Android, for Apple, for Windows, for BlackBerry. Um, they have sync clients if we go we'll go to there uh windows mac on linux distros they've got CentOS, debian uh elementary fedora linux mint 
uh, OpenSUSE, Red Hat, and various Ubuntu's. Uh, in addition, I have seen on uh, in the Arch user repositories, I've seen the client there as well. I guess somebody uh, or a group of people have downloaded the uh, the tar and and uh, and set it up for the uh, the Arch users out there. So. For the most part, it looks like just about any distribution you're on, you're going to be able to uh, to use Mega. And then, in addition to uh, the syncing from uh, your desktop, they also have browser apps. There is uh, one for Firefox. There is one for uh, Chrome. Um, I don't, you know, I kind of, even though I'm a big time Chrome user, uh, since Google is watching, you know, your every move when you're using Chrome. I don't know um, whether I trust the uh, the Chrome app or not. I don't know. You know, they seem to be everything I've been looking at so far. They seem to be doing a real good job at building security into all their apps and 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 everything. I'm just kind of leery of. You know, if Google's watching everything you do on Chrome, what happens when you add the Chrome app? Uh, you know, that's just me. But even though I usually use Chrome, I've downloaded the uh, the Firefox app to use the Firefox one. So let me go and uh, uh, I'll log into my account. But uh, you know, setting up account very simple. You know, click on the create account button fill out this information here under password it's got to be a fairly complicated password just putting in uh, you know your wife's name with the year she was born isn't going to cut it um, you know probably the best and me and a friend were talking about this yesterday basically close your eyes type in a whole bunch of random keys on the keyboard look and see make sure there's no patterns there and boom there's your password uh, very complicated no pattern and it's going to probably be pretty hard for some hacker to try to uh, figure out your password anyway so you would go through this agree to their terms create account um, they'll send you a verification email you verify boom you got your account let me go and I will log in here and you know uh, I'm not gonna let you see my password and, and whatnot but I will uh, um, what I've got in in this uh, up in the cloud right now I don't care if anybody sees it or not so uh, you guys can take a look around it see how it's set up okay so here we are inside of my uh, mega cloud drive um, you know you'll have a list of your various files that you have here and then you can create folders you know right click click new folder and you see here I created a folder I'm going to call share folders and by right clicking on there I can open the folder get some info about it make it a favorite I can download whatever is in there get a link to it I can share it and the sharing thing is pretty cool um, you know similar to uh, you know Google Drive allows you to do some sharing with it as well but if you go and click sharing uh, you just type in email addresses to who you want to share with and uh, boom that person can access uh, that that share file so very neat So anyway, let's uh, we'll take a look at how to set this up on your desktop. Uh, like I said, I'm running Linux Mint here. Uh, this is the the XFCE version, um, and uh, it's a fresh install, so I don't have any of the um, uh, the sync client set up here. So very simple and easy to do. Just select your distribution. Come down here to Mint 17. I'm on 64-bit, um, and then click the free download. And I'm going to save it to file, and then after it and after it downloads, um, I'll go and open. I know you can go and click, you know, uh, use GW at that point, but uh, Personally, um, I prefer to uh, to download files before I go in and try opening them. So 
So there's MegaSync. We're going to open it with GBW Package Manager. Install the package. Allow it to install. Drink coffee while it's installing. All right, it's installed. Let's close this all up. And then from that point, I'm just going to put it mega into my uh, menu there. Select that. Yes, I have a mega account. Click next. password click next and do you want you can and this is another cool feature uh, you can either do a full sync sync everything or just specific files I'm going to do a full sync next uh, where do you want your folder that's fine click next finish and now it will begin syncing and in your system tray you will see um, you know, if you look at my mouse here, here's your, uh, down in your system tray. If you click on that, uh, you know, Mega M that has showed up. You've got a couple of options there. Got some settings, uh, show status, import some links, upload to Mega, download from Mega, all that kind of stuff. So, and under settings, um, you can see you got a whole bunch of different settings you can do about uh, some some uh, account stuff there, how you sync, uh, bandwidth li limitations, uh, set up proxies, and then uh, we got our advanced here so you can select default folders, that sort of thing. All right, syncing has complete, and let me go and I will open up File Manager here, and as you can see in the home folder, there is now a folder called Mega. Double click that, and there are copies of all of my files there. Like I said, uh, very simple, easy to use. Um, been using it a few days now. Seems to work great. I haven't had any trouble with, um, you know, with the desktop client. I haven't had any trouble with uh, the uh, uh, the syncing from from Firefox or uh, you know or going to the cloud and, and playing with the uh, client there so everything seems to work great uh, and of course much better security uh, than uh, than what I was getting through Dropbox or uh, Google Drive so anyway that about finishes this video up hope you enjoyed it give it a big old thumbs up if you liked it and uh, leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below and I will see everyone on the next video thanks a lot